Well, past meeting president in the fourth annual alumni game for the Red Raider baseball program. Some current and some future big leaguers taking part in the game. Guys like A.J. Ramos, Chad Bettis, Bobby Duran, and plenty more taking part on Saturday afternoon. As for the game itself, the alumni touching up Trey Mossick early in the top of the first, already up one to nothing. Former big leaguer Mike Humphreys into left. Kelby Tomlinson comes in. It's a two to nothing alumni lead. Red Raiders, though, answering in the bottom of the second. Jared Poteet, the freshman, gets a hold of Duke Von Shaman into left. Mason Randolph comes in from third. It's a two to one ball game. Still in the second, Jake Berrios sends one out to center. Kent Blasing game, can't handle it. Run comes in to tie it up at two. Quiet on the scoreboards for a while after that, thanks to some great defense. Tim Proudfoot to Bryant Burleson, 6-4-3. One of Tech's four double plays turned on the day. We jump to the bottom of the eighth. Tied up at three, runner on second for Eric Gutierrez. A.J. Ramos not getting into pitch today, but showing off the gun in left. Zach Davies, fastest guy on the team, gun down at the plate, and we stay tied at three. Next batter though, Burleson into right. Elliot Rishu comes in to take a four to three lead. And Blake Bass trying to add a little insurance into left. Todd Ritchie trying to test AJ again. That one though offline. And it's a five to three Red Raider lead. Top nine now a five to four ball game and the Dr. Mike Gustafson with one out. Pops out to shallow right. The flip the first for the double play. And Initially thought to be the end of the ball game, but Chad Bettis wanting to get in, comes in in the bottom of the ninth, and a big moment for Zach Davis, the freshman, single off of a 96 mile an hour fastball from a future big leaguer, as the Red Raiders going to win this one five to four, the final overall, a great time for Red Raiders past and present. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's uh, something that I look forward to every year. We get to hang out with the guys like Bettis right here, kneeling down, holding the mic for me. But uh, it's... <laughs> It's definitely a good time to see these guys again, hang out with them, and just relive the moments that we had in college. It's awesome. I mean, just to, just to see everybody out here, you know, just to be a part of, uh, you know, the Texas Tech baseball family. It's, you know, it's something that, that it's, you know, it's a, it's a big privilege. It's just good to be back in the field of the stadium, you know, and uh, it might be a little early for us to pitch, but I couldn't resist. You know, I had to, I had to get back in the stadium and just remember all the good times. It's good to see everyone back, you know. And, I'm happy right now. It's fun. Yeah, it was definitely different. Uh, you know, growing up, you know, growing up coming to these games and uh, always wanting to be on, you know, one of the two. And I've had the opportunity to be on both. It's definitely different, but it's always good to come back to Lubbock and come back to Tech. It's just really neat to watch the alumni compete and play, and uh, some pretty good players over there. Uh, obviously, really good players, I should say. And uh, they were tough to beat today. And if you gave them a month's time. They'd be even tougher to be. Uh, but more than anything for our guys, I mean, it's about rhythm and timing and getting at bats and getting on the mound, finding some timing. And uh, uh, it's just good to get out on the field again. I mean, it's our, to keep this in perspective, that's our second team. That's our second inner squad. We played five innings yesterday. I mean, it was fun. I'm we thank those guys a lot for coming back and just giving us a game. And uh, I mean, it was fun facing those guys. One, two, three. Everybody so next up, practice for the next three weeks. Opening day, February 15th against Northern Illinois. For Texas Tech TV, I'm Brandon Rowley.